guys, this is Michael B coming at you with another Mortal Kombat product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mortal Kombat pinball machine made by Scientific Toys. There's not a whole lot of things that I can say about this pinball machine, so this review is probably going to be pretty short. I suppose to start off with, I'll give you a rundown of what the machine looks like. Interestingly enough, even though this machine is branded as simply Mortal Kombat, its art is actually that of Mortal Kombat 2. The way this machine works is quite simple. Basically you have a little metal ball and you shoot the ball up the ramp and then you use the flippers to knock the ball into the various bumpers. This little toy does come from the 90s and it really is rather inexpensive. When I first got this toy I expected it to have more sound effects than what it had. Truth be told, when the metal ball hits the metal springs that they use as bumpers, it releases a high-pitched beeping noise. Your ears really have to take some time to adjust to the sound effect. If you've ever watched one of the Nexus videos, the fight videos, and maybe you heard those loud pinging noises in the background, chances are what you were hearing was somebody playing the Mortal Kombat pinball machine. As far as its construction, it is very simple. You have five bumpers in the middle. If you hit a bumper, you'll score 100 points. As far as keeping track of how many balls you've used while you're playing, that's strictly up to you. Here in the front, they have a little self-serve spinner that knocks the ball into place. So when it comes to concepts like a free ball or multi-ball, this machine is definitely not going to be giving it to you. Of course, that would be expected considering it's a little kid's toy. So other than the outrageous beeping noise, what's some of the faults of this machine. Probably one of the biggest ones is the ball drains. Almost every pinball machine has little channels down the side where your ball can accidentally be knocked into and it will rob you of your ball and there's nothing you can do to save it. The problem with this machine, there is a total of four access points to a ball drain and they're positioned in such a way that you will hit the ball drain far more often than you ever would intentionally do so. I've never been very good at pinball, but I have a buddy, DJ Max, you guys may have seen his fight videos. DJ Max is a world record pinball player, and even he has a lot of trouble with this pinball machine. Another fault of the machine is the little springs on the inside that the game uses for your bumpers. These springs have a tendency to kind of get bent over time. My machine's in pretty good condition, except for this spring right here is ever slightly tilted. And so every now and then the ball will get stuck right between that spring and a wall. Now the ball getting stuck does result in us getting a whole lot of extra points because the game reads it as the ball hitting that spring several times. So when we compete in this pinball machine at the Nexus, we're almost always trying to get the ball stuck there. Of course the sound is absolutely atrocious when the ball gets stuck because you have to hear that pinging noise non-stop. But at the end of the day, that was not the original design of the game, so I presume you can call that a fault. However, because that little spring was bent, it does make this game a little bit more fun to play because you have something to shoot for. And that's the real problem with a lot of these toy pinball machines. A good pinball machine should have ramps, it should have goals, it should give you tasks that you have to complete. Now, of course, I wouldn't expect that much depth from a little plastic pinball machine that you put on your table. But that is a reason why these little pinball machines are very rarely as fun as a full-sized pinball. Overall, the way I feel about this machine is, I like it. I like this machine a lot. I've had a lot of fun with it. However, I will admit that whenever I am playing it, I'm kind of overlooking its flaws. And to be completely honest, I actually kind of like some of its flaws. It gives it character. but. That's coming from somebody who collects Mortal Kombat stuff. So, as far as Mortal Kombat collectors are concerned, should you get this pinball machine? Absolutely. You don't see these pinball machines everywhere. And when you do, you should just go ahead and get it. Because if you're collecting Mortal Kombat memorabilia, this has got to be one of the most unique Mortal Kombat items that you can get your hands on. As far as people who just like Mortal Kombat a lot and maybe are looking to get a toy pinball machine. There are some good toy pinball machines out there, and I'm sure since I've grown up that they've made much better ones. But I'm going to go ahead and say that this would probably be pretty cool to have regardless of if you are a collector or not. A Mortal Kombat pinball machine, pretty awesome. 
So like I said, this was going to be a short review and that's what it was. This was a little look at the Mortal Kombat Pinball Machine by Scientific Toys. Be sure to check out my channel for more videos like these. I upload at least one Mortal Kombat video every single day. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button down below or click that subscribe button above. So until next time guys, this is Michael V talking about some really cool Mortal Kombat stuff.